I'm delighted today to welcome to uh, the FIH channel, uh, Lorraine Delforge. Hi, Lorraine, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How about you? Yeah, really, really good. It's been a, or it will have been by the time we get to February next year with the Indoor World Cup, it will have been quite an interesting uh, six months of hockey for, for you, really, won't it? Because uh, the start of that six month period, if we look back at uh, August, saw you umpiring the, uh, in the, at the Tokyo Olympics finals. I mean, how was that as an experience? Yeah, look, it was supposed to all happen in, in 2020. It's just been delayed uh, a year, but um, yeah, look, Tokyo was fantastic. Uh, of course, different as expected, but um, just the way it was organized, the way it went for me, of course, it was a, a wonderful experience. And um, yeah, we just hope the, the year continues this way. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So, I mean, obviously now, um, I, you know, the, the outdoor game continues, but you will be shifting certainly a percentage of your focus towards the Indoor World Cup now, which is obviously taking place in February in Liège. Um, this is going to be a very special event for you, isn't it? Because it's your it's your home nation. It's a World Cup. And it's also the chance for you to make a very unique piece of history, which is, you know, umpiring in an outdoor Olympics and then playing in a World Cup. So just sum up for me how you feel about all of that. Yeah, it's it's difficult to answer. Of course, um, first of all, we really really happy to be um, yeah on the on the team for for the coming World Cup in your own country. It always make it makes it a bit different. Um, indoor is still a, a sport that is growing up in Belgium. It's been pretty small, and now we're really trying to promote it a little bit more. So um, yeah, we we all looking forward to this event. Um, on an individual uh, perspective, of course, it's uh, like you said, busy year with a lot of um, yeah, challenging and cha challenging times because you just want to be at your best, uh, whether I'm empowering or whether I'm playing, you always want to, to be at your best. So, um, yeah, I will, uh, I will focus on the World Cup now indoor. Um, it's been focusing on Tokyo for now one year and a half with the COVID situation. But, yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty conv uh, convinced that we, we can have a, a good performance there in Liège. Yeah, absolutely. What is it about indoor? I mean, I, I, I love the game. I think it's it's fun and it's exciting and there's always a great atmosphere. For you as a, as a player, and also, I mean, you, you've obviously umpired the game as well, although you, you've stepped away from the indoor umpiring a little bit now, I understand. But what is it about the game that just appeals to you so much? Yeah, it's, it's completely different. Um, it's pretty fast. It's a... Uh, really technical uh, what i love with indoor is that you cannot hide um there is no time to switch off you just uh you, you play you play probably less but it's really really um exciting game because uh, it's always on uh this is what i love and, and the technical part of it as well uh, I'm, i've always been a, a technical player so i love small spaces and yeah i just love this game um and as an umpire as well it's it it gives you so much because it's so technical and because it's so uh, always always on. You you just cannot switch off and and it teaches you a lot as a player and as an umpire. 